From the newsroom at news.com.au. G'day, I'm Andrew Bucklow and this is the latest from the newsroom. It's Monday the 2nd of August. We'll start in Queensland where residents could be facing their longest lockdown since the height of the pandemic. Infectious disease experts have said it's unlikely the state's three-day lockdown will end tomorrow. Instead, they're predicting it could be extended for another 14 days. Queensland yesterday recorded nine new locally acquired cases in its worst day since August 22 last year. Over to New South Wales now, and the Army will hit the streets today to help police enforce lockdown rules. 300 Australian Defence Force personnel will be deployed in eight local government areas of concern. It comes after the state recorded 239 cases yesterday, 35 of which were infectious in the community. To the Olympics now, and there was high drama at Tokyo Airport as an athlete from Belarus claimed she had been kidnapped and was being sent home against her will. The female sprinter refused to board a plane and is now seeking asylum in Germany or Austria. Now, she was set to compete at the Games today, but was ordered home by Belarusian Olympic officials after she criticised their selection process. She's currently being looked after by police in Tokyo and the IOC is investigating. Also at the Games, Aussie sprinter Rowan Browning missed out on reaching the final of the 100 metre sprint. The race was eventually won by Italy's Lamont Marcel Jacobs in a time of 9.80 seconds. Clean this time, Sue didn't get away quite so well. Adonoki got away well in the centre. Curley's having a great run with Jacobs and Baker. Jacobs in front to grass for Jacobs, Italy have won the gold medal. It was actually the first time an Italian sprinter had ever made the 100 metre final, so well done to him. To TV news, and the cast for Channel 7's Big Brother VIP has been leaked. Appearing on the show will be Caitlyn Jenner, Meghan Markle's half-brother Thomas, former Married at First Sight star Jessica Power, Kyle Sanderland's ex-girlfriend Imogen Anthony, and Survivor star Luke Tocchi. The show is currently being filmed in Sydney. And finally, actor Gerard Butler is suing the producers of his 2013 film Olympus Has Fallen. He He's claiming they fudged box office figures and says he's owed at least $13 million. The film spawned two sequels, both of which Butler starred in. If you want news.com.au with fewer ads and member awards, get news.com.au premium today at news.com.au forward slash premium membership. That's it from the newsroom. I'll be back in the afternoon with another update. Your update from news.com.au.